as you can see like this is the abstract class here we create the basic abstract class parameter and as you can see we are using a child class layer extend the parameters so basically these are all uh, like inheritance thing abstract class is like the main class where you've got filters constructors and basic constructors in the abstract class it's just abstract uh, then you've got the abstract class first then you've got action php you can just open it like uh, edit mm, we need to include the abstract class once as you can see abstract class require once abstract class dot php so that we just inherit those functions and we don't need to write write again as you can see class action extends parameters the parameters that we've defined in abstract class can we just start like you can just start using them here as you can see like null false and accordingly you can just fill those details up then we've got the animation php which again includes the abstract class php then you've got the as you can see define child class action based on pa parent class parameters so the ba basic uh, abstract class contains the parameters that are used like everywhere so that is like the main class the parent class and here we can like just start using interpolation repeat if you want to repeat the animation from to and everything you can just start filling in your details be a little careful before you start filling in and uh, then we've got the error logs where you can just check out the errors if they are any as you can see there are lots uh, then we've got the animation we've got a readme first text file which you can go through before you just like go through all this stuff you can see uh, it's basic text file explaining all the things you can just like uh, when you download it from the layer website you first go through that then you can start uploading things we've also got a complete one this is like much more uh, advanced where we uh, directly use the functions which are not required right now so you can just go through it's pretty small as we are including all these files and just start using the functions it's a little advanced and i don't think it's required right now because like we are just including those files and you're just working consecutively on five to six files php files that is not required right now so you can just go with the simplified php one so these are the basic uh, like php and json things that get you the request from the database and connects it uh, so now let's go down to our database let's create a database right now for that one you need to come back to the bluehost one cpanel that's the control panel here 